a polymer is when you have multiples of a single monomer. So if, for example, you have something like ethene, you know that polymers work by when the double bond breaks open and it allows them to join on to whatever the next carbon is. When it comes to drawing polymers, I'd recommend always kind of draw them in a H shape and putting your double bond in the middle of those two carbons. So rather than drawing it like this, the first thing I would do is always draw it like this. Then I think it makes it quite easy to draw the, sorry, to draw the polymer with all the connecting chains together. Let's look at that for another example of something that's not as easy as ethene, like propene. People struggle when it comes to making polymers with something like this, where they can see that there's a double bond, they know that it needs to break open, but it's very hard to see what to do with the rest of the molecule, that kind of alkyl group that's stuck onto it. So again, I'd say they do, do the same thing. Draw them in that kind of H shape. So see how I've just moved the alkyl group that's here and I've put it kind of below this carbon. And so I end up forming something like this. Then it's very easy again to just open up that double bond and join it onto the next carbon and you end up forming something like this. So now let's look at those two, sorry, no, there's girls on the rest of the page. Looking at these two polymers. You know, if you want to work backwards and turn that monomer or turn that polymer into a monomer, essentially what you're looking for is the repeating units in things. So for example, it's quite clear here that this would be one repeating unit, a H and a CH3, as in on the bottom halves of your carbons. It's quite easy to see that, so it is possible to work backwards. It would be the same thing here, but you'd have to assume that all that would have broken open is a double bond between the carbons. So because there's no other things joined off them, this would have to be ethene and this would have to be three ethenes joined together.